Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create multiple landing pages on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once you are on your Shopify admin page as you can see right here, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select online store. With the steps that I'm about to show you, you don't need to download any app or anything like that and you will be able to create a professional looking landing page in no time. So after selecting online store, you're going to tap right where you see customize in line with the theme that you're using. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, I want you to tap at the top of the page where you see home page. And from there, all you'll need to do now, you're going to select pages. After selecting pages, you're going to tap on create template. Once you have tapped on create template, from here you're going to select name. Let's say for example, on my Shopify store, I sell sneakers and I sell sneakers for men and for women. Now, when I'm running my ads, I don't want to redirect women to the men section. So I want to ensure that they land on the proper landing page that are target that is targeted towards that particular audience. So what I want to do is create pages for the different audience. So for example, I'm going to create my first landing page, which I will call women. So for example, women sneakers. Then I'm going to tap on create template. After selecting create template, you can start creating your landing page. So the first thing I would recommend you do is go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see page below template, you're going to tap on the eye icon to remove that as it would normally leave the contact option right there. You want to remove that. Then you're going to tap on add section. You can start customizing it to your liking. So for example, I could tap on add section at the top right here. And if it is a case that you like to add a custom liquid or so on, you can do that. Or you can also edit the announcement bar as you can see here by selecting announcement bar or header if you would like to make any header changes. But we're going to be tapping on add section. After you have selected add section, let's say for example sake, you want to add a featured collection. So we'll select featured collection. Then from here, you could change the name. So you could select, for example, right where you see featured collection. I could clear that and I could type in woman sneakers collection. After doing that, you can also change the heading size if you want. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on select collection. If you have not created a collection as yet, you can tap on create collection right here and you'll be redirected to a new page. And from here, I'm just going to type in woman sneakers and I'm going to be creating my collection. You have two options. You can either create a connection manually or you can create it automated. I would normally select manual, then I'll select browse. And I'm just going to be selecting the woman sneakers. So I'll select these two. Then we'll tap on add. After you have done that, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once it has been saved, you can go back onto the editor page. Then all you'll need to do is tap on the X. Then you're going to tap on select collection once more. Or better yet, refresh the page. So let me refresh the page. So I'll select reload real quick. After selecting reload, once again, we'll hide the page name, tap on add section. Then we're going to select featured collection. After selecting featured collection, again, we're going to clear this section right here. And we're going to type in woman sneaker collection. After doing that, you'll scroll down. We'll tap on select collection and we're going to select the woman sneakers collection. Then tap on select. After we have added our collection, we can continue customizing our landing page. So for example sake, you can tap on add section. And then from there, if you would like to add rich text, you could do that or an image with a text, you can do that also. So I'll select image with a text and I'm going to be selecting an image. So I'll tap on select image right there. And I'm just going to be selecting this image for example sake, then tap on done. 
After doing that, you could add some details about this particular sneakers, what makes it special. And you could also tap on the button. And then after selecting the button, you could, for example, clear the button label right there. And you could tap on, let's say, buy now. You could tap on button link, then you could select products. And then from there, you can link it to that particular product, as you can see right there. After I've done that, I can go back. And then if I would like to add more sections, I can do that. So you could tap on add sections once more. And then from there, if you like to add a slider, a collage, anything at all, an email sign up, you could also do that video, blog posts or so on. So let's say, for example, we were to add an email sign up at the bottom right here. You could do that and we could also hide this. So you can see how our landing page looks at the moment. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save. After you have saved it, we could go back and we could tap right where you see women's sneakers at the top right here. And we're going to be creating another page template. So we're going to select pages, then tap on create template. And from here, we're just going to type in men sneakers. So let's do that. Tap on create template. Then again, we're going to add the page title, tap on add section, then we'll add featured collection. And from here, you could clear the name once more and you could type in men sneaker collection. Then after doing that, you'll scroll down, tap on select collection, and we're going to be creating a new collection. So let me do that real quick. We'll go back into our Shopify store Tap on create collection, then I'm going to type in men's sneaker. Then we'll scroll down and we're going to leave it at manual. And we're just going to be selecting the men's sneakers that we'd like to add. After you have added it, you're going to tap on save. Once it has been saved, you can go back into your editor page. Then from there, you can simply refresh this page. So let me refresh this page real quick. Before doing that, let me tap on save to save the changes in the top right hand corner. Then we'll just refresh the page. I have refreshed the page, you'll scroll down and you're going to tap on select collection and we'll select men's collect sneaker collection right there. Then tap on select. And again, you can continue customizing it to your liking by tapping on add section. You can choose image with text, rich text, Whichever one of these options you like to add, you can select it right there. So after doing all of that, you're just going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Now that you have created your different landing pages, you're going to tap on exit in the top left hand corner. After selecting exit, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select pages. Then you'll tap on add page in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on add page, from here we can type in men's sneaker collection, for example. Or you can leave it at men's sneakers. Then after doing that, you're going to tap right where you see theme template. And we'll select men sneakers, then tap on save. After you have saved that, you can create another page. So we'll go back. And we're going to tap on add page once more. And we're going to type in women sneakers. Then we'll tap on the default page and we're going to be selecting women sneakers. Then you'll tap on save. Now that you have created both landing pages and you have linked it to respectful pages, all you'll need to do now is tap on navigation from the left hand menu option. Then you could select main menu. After selecting main menu, you can tap on add menu item. Then I could type in men sneaker collection, for example. Or just leave it at men sneakers, better yet. Then I'll tap on search or paste link. Then select pages. Then I'm going to link it to the men's sneakers page. Tap on add. Then I can also move this up. So I'm going to move it up right below the home page. Tap on add menu item once more and we'll type in women sneakers. Then we're going to tap on search, select pages, select women sneakers, then tap on add. And I'm going to be moving this up also. Once you have done that, you'll tap on save menu. 
Now that we have done this, if we were to go over to the left hand menu option and select view your online store, you can see it has been added right here. So now when we are creating our ads, we can redirect persons to these direct landing pages that we have created. And you can create multiple landing pages using the steps that I've shown you. So for example, if I were to tap on men's sneaker, you can see how it looks. And if I were to tap on women's sneakers, you can see how the landing page looks. And keep in mind that this is just a quick tutorial. I would recommend that you go more in depth when creating your landing page with the information that you add and so on to make it look more professional but this is just a quick example of how you can do it if you would like me to go more in depth or if you have any questions that you would like to ask you can leave that in the comment section and i will reply in a timely manner thank you for watching this tutorial hope you found it helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe